I love baking cakes because they're a tangible expression of love. It is a very clear way to tell someone, I thought of you, and so here is something that I made with my own two hands, and I hope that you enjoy it. Well, her delectable desserts have made her a star on air and online. Columbia native Elise Smith's treats landed her a show on Magnolia Network and a guest appearance on The Jennifer Hudson Show. Now, while her success has been sweet, baking is just one part of her story. Joining us now is the owner of Winnie's Bakery. It's Elise Smith. Thanks for coming by. Thank you Good for having you. me. Good morning. I I'm scared to tell you that I just had a Pop-Tart and you're a baker <laughs> and that goes against everything you work toward. <laughs> Sacrilege. <laughs> so we only mentioned it. But tell me about your rise because you started small, your grandma taught, it, taught you, and then you ended up uh, Magnolia and then on different uh, network shows. How did this all happen for you? Ooh. <laughs> Well, it's been quite a journey, yeah. um, but it really did. It started with my grandma. You know, my parents are academics yeah. and they work full time. And so we were very much raised by our village. And my grandmother just would put my brother and I in the kitchen to kind of keep us busy and occupied. And that evolved into an appreciation and a love. And, you know, food was definitely her love language. And yeah. that love language was so comforting and it felt so right for me and so you know by extension that became one of my love languages and then I was in college and I was having a great time but you know my heart was drawing me to the kitchen yeah. and you know uh, I have this famous picture where I'm supposed to be focusing on class and I'm handing out cupcakes um, <laughs> <laughs> and then you figure, you figure out, you get online, and then some very important eyes start to see you working. Tell me about yes. that story. So I had had my bakery, and I was selling my baked goods around Baltimore. And, uh, you know, fast forward, we're getting close to when the pandemic hits, and I had transitioned into food writing. And I posted one of my recipes on Instagram, and little did I know that Chip and Joanna Gaines um, – of Magnolia Network were launching said mm -hmm. network and they were looking for established regional talent. And I posted a recipe and I saw that she saw my story and that blew my mind. Yeah, yeah. And I told everyone I would love to bake with her. And then um, she sent me a message and it just kind of all snowballed in the most beautiful way from there. And so. that was the big launch. I mean, from oh, there, yeah. things really took off fast for you. Yes, hard launch. <laughs> <laughs> so where did you go there? Take me even further now. Yes. So, you know, after that whole uh, wonderful and crazy set of circumstances happened, I then was able to travel to Texas and I had the opportunity to kind of bake with her and I guess show off a little bit. <laughs> And then, um, you know, from there, I had the opportunity to kind of speak with the team and um, we came up with this cake based uh, series, which is called Bake from Scratch. Yes. And it's a workshop series and I teach people about a concept called the Flavor Star. And really it is just getting people really comfortable with one, some of the like really well-known flavors that you're going to encounter on your palate when you're doing recipes and then also just how to have fun in the kitchen oh, nice. have a variety of things that can come together in an unexpected way T tell me uh for now there are, we were talking about kids and being in the kitchen and you said one <laughs> of the things that really encourage you that you think of is that start your kids early yes. because this could this is a lifelong uh, skill that you'll learn absolutely you know i was so fortunate that i come from a family of cooks yeah. um you know, a lot of people don't know this, but Winnie, my grandmother who had a bakery named Jeannie's, her husband actually has a degree uh, in culinary uh, science. Yeah. So, you know, I really, truly come from a family of cooks and being able to be in the kitchen with her instilled so much confidence and self-awareness about myself at such a young age. And I really think it formed me and shaped me for the better, you know. You know, guys, let your kids like cook. <laughs> they're going to they're going yeah. to learn so much about themselves and gain a sense of confidence. And there is nothing like seeing a kid light up because they did something right. that either they didn't know they could do or they doubted themselves sure. and they figured out a way and you were there to witness it. And there's magic to it. They're like, did you see that? Well, yeah. I'm staring right at you, baby. Yes, I saw <laughs> it. But they're going to ask you 50 times. And it's amazing. We have a, about a minute left because I do want to do a quick public service. You had a health challenge. And part of dealing with the health challenge is having people realize they have the power to help someone out. 
yes. and I'm talking about donors. If, real quickly though, how can people help each other and tell us a little bit about your challenge? So I have MDS, which is myelitid plastic syndrome, and it is a blood dyscrasia where my bone marrow has completely wiped out. Mm. And so what I need is a stem cell transplant. And so what people can do is they can register with organizations like Be The Match or DKMS. And it really is as simple as swabbing the inside of your cheek, okay. sending it in. It's completely free. Okay. Um, and you know, you could become a living lifesaver for someone. The procedure itself is super seamless. It's really essentially a very long blood draw. Okay. Um, you're comfortable, there's no pain, and everything is covered and paid for from work to childcare to transportation wow. and stay. Um, should your number ever be called? You know, most people aren't, but okay. you know, it's, it's a really beautiful thing. There's so many different people living with so many seriously seriously severe medical conditions who just want to live and thrive sure. and sure. Uh, yeah you could be the person that helps them do that so. well, we love that you're thriving love to showcase <laughs> you i will never have a pop tart again when you're <laughs> in the, when you're in the building i'll just make you one i'll, <laughs> I'll make you one shit, at least smith thank you for coming by good thank to see you for you. having me certainly and that's all for this edition of 11 tv hill thank you for joining us see you next time